Hi, Alex here from Reveloper.com and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a UI scroll view programmatically in Swift. So let's dive in. Okay, UI scroll views are quite a pain and uh, we are going to do it all in code, but rest assured it will be an easy one. So let me just show you what we are going to build out. As you can see here, we have a label center of container. Of course, it's not in the center of our uh, view, well, the window of our uh, device, but it is a scroll view. And as you can see, if I just scroll all the way down, indeed, this label is in the center of the container view that the scroll view has, but we will dive deeper into uh, what the container view is in just a moment. So this is what we are going to build out programmatically in Swift. Okay, now uh, let's just stop this testing UI scroll view and let's just create the whole project from scratch. So let's go to file new project. And I'm going to use the single view app uh, template that I have created. Go ahead and check out that other playlist uh, about custom Xcode templates on my channel. So go ahead and click this, click on next. And the product name should be, let's say, I will use uh, the simple root view controller. I will name this as a simple root view controller and I will use embed in a navigation controller because most of the time uh, sc uh, scroll views are in a navigation stack. Yeah, that is the most common use case, but go ahead, feel free, uh, uncheck this embed in navigation controller if you want to, but we are going to go with this forward. So let's click on next. Okay, so I will drop my project here and I will create a Git repository. So you may check it out on the, my GitHub uh, profile. Uh, of course, all of the necessary links are down below in the description. So let's create this. Okay, now first thing, what we want to do is actually close this project. So I will close this because I am using you know, mostly all of my projects, tiny constraints to constrain all over my views. And we will constrain our label to the center of our container view. So uh, let's just open up terminal and we are going to create a pod file. So there we go. Uh, let's type in the terminal. Let me just hit command plus so you may see what I'm typing in here. Type in cd and the space and just simply drag and drop the root folder of your project. Hit return, type in pod in it to create the pod file. Pretty basic stuff. And now let's select our pod file and open it up by dragging it to the Xcode icon. And uh, let's set the platform to iOS 12, why not? I believe iOS 9 is not enough for a tiny constraints. So pod tiny constraints there. Let me just type it that in tiny constraints. Great, let's just close this and uh, let's return to our terminal and type in pod install and that will install uh, tiny constraints. Okay, uh, now what we want to do is uh, go ahead and from now on open up our Xcode workspace. Pretty basic uh, Coco uh, pods instructions. So let's just open up easy UI scroll view here and take a look at the app delegate. We are basically having our simple root view controller uh, as the root view controller of our window. Now let's take a look at the simple root view controller. That is a basic stuff. Now, what do we want to add here? Well, you want to have a, a, a scroll view and inside that we will create a container view and inside the container view, we will add our sub views. And in our case, we will add a label that will say center of container view and we will position it to the center of our container view. So let's just uh, start off and let me just mark this viewed load 
and it is a very good uh, thing to have these marks uh, in your code because it's very easy to uh, navigate uh, and find your uh, functions and I'm gonna name this uh, with capital letters okay now let's add our views so again a mark here and I will add um, views here and I will add this line here so we may have uh, these lines and when we search for that and first of all let's create our let's say our label so I will lazily load these stuff so lazy var label let it be of UI label and um, it will be a simple label UI label and let's return this label and uh, initialize it like so now let's add our text to this label and I will add center of container view because and we will get to this now a UI scroll view has a frame let's just return our label here sorry about that so the scroll UI scroll view has a frame but it also has a container a content a container view that we will add here so think of it like the frame is the uh, what you can see on the screen right now but the container view is much larger like we are going to create a, a horizontal scrolling uh, container view so uh, that is much larger than what we can see at the moment on our scroll view so let's create this container view well that will be a simple uh, view lazy var i am lazily loading this again because we are going to set the content size of this container view uh, inside this uh, initialization so container view and it is a simple ui view let view equals ui view let's return our view and let's initialize it okay okay now uh, let's add our views let's set our views background color to be white okay pretty basic stuff no problems here now what we want to do next is set the frame of our container view but we will do that in just a moment for now let us just create our uh, scroll view when we are finally creating our lazy var scroll view and it will be a simple ui scroll view let and i will name this scroll or rather yet let's just name this view and equals ui scroll view and we could add here a frame uh, but we will just uh, add uh, the basic dot zero frame because we are going to add the frame later on so we will return our view here so with that don't get any errors like that and uh, let's say let uh, let us add our views background color to be again white okay I hope that wasn't too much difficult for you and now what we want to do is set the a frame of our scroll view and our container view now for the scroll view let's just go down here and there is a property view and uh, if you add a dot you can see all of them and you can have a content size okay and that will be something and of course here under view we have our frame equals to again something now the view uh, scroll views content side and the container views frame have to match now let's add a property to uh, for that so mark okay so let's add our 
property here. Uh, first of all, let me just uh, comment these two so we don't get all of uh, those errors. Uh, yeah, hopefully and they will go away for you too. So lazy var and I will name this content view size and it will be of CG size and I will choose the one with the CG float and I will have the width to be the whole width of the screen. So self dot view dot frame dot width. Okay, and for the height, let's start off the same self dot view dot frame dot height, but I want to make it even larger. So I will add a plus 400 here. Now let's uncomment these and add for the content size, content view size and for the frame content view oh sorry about that content view size for our frame of our container view now that is yeah and uh, i need to add in here size okay so we have our content size for our scroll view and we have our frame size for our container view but uh, and this is larger than the whole screen but how do we actually set the frame of our scroll view and that is pretty simple let's add our scroll views uh, i believe it's frame yes and it will be our view dot bounds okay and that is it. So we have set our frame to be the bounds of the view and we have set our content size to be much larger. And we, of course, we have set the same uh, content size as we have for our container view. Okay, now uh, I believe that is the basics of it. Now uh, let's add these uh, scroll view container view and label to our view hierarchy so what we need to do now is first of all add our scroll view so uh, view dot add sub view scroll view and that is it so you don't have to constrain it in any way because we already have the frame of it and the same goes for our container view so let's add that next and of course we are going to add our container view to our scroll view so there we go container view con okay uh, great now that we have all of these we finally want to add our label and for that we need to import tiny constraints because we are going to constrain it to the center of the container view so first of all uh, container view dot add sub view and let's add our label there and we want to uh, center it so label dot center in constrainable and is that is the container view okay let's see uh, what we have got here so let's build and run and see what we have built and uh, as you can see it is pretty easy we have created only these uh, four free views and our content view size now uh, we cannot see uh, anything where we can see a black thing but for to fixing that we just simply need to uh, have our views background color to be white and uh, let's take another look at that there we go nothing really happened so what else do we need to add okay and now i can see that this view actually is this view so if you have added any other name like scroll view then this wouldn't be an issue so uh, to fix that let's add in here self view because we want to get the view of our uh, controller okay so let's just build and run here and um, see what happens Okay, here we have center of container view 
and basically we have all of uh, this set up. Now what you might want to add, this will not make much of a difference, but uh, you still might want to know about it, is view auto resizing mask is to flexible, flexible height. This is because we are having a flexible height for our content view and uh, let's add our uh, always or, or let's just say bounces equals to true and view shows a horizontal scroll indicator set to true okay so uh, maybe you want to set the vertical scroll indicator and so on but basically if we build and run again it will not change anything because all of these are set to these defaults but again we can change them later on if we wanted to and there we go we have set up our scroll view easily in swift now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos now it is your turn go ahead and take a look at this project and create your own scroll views programmatically and i hope you do if you did go ahead and comment down below maybe with a link to your app where you use this technique and as always i will see you in the next one